rain. Drip, drop, it never stops. The tiny water drops that spot and dot the sidewalk as many try to avoid them, but get drenched as they walk. It's encompassing as it is affirming of how overwhelming something so small can be. Not to mention, when you take that and multiply that by a million or two or three, just think for a moment of what it could mean if a world inside each drop of water was what you could see. What dreams would thrive in a world that could only survive for a few seconds and goes as fast as it came? That is a big question for the person that pours out the rain. However, this is not something to ponder too hard over, as the solution can be found in something as simple as a clover. Maybe even a blade of grass or a seed as it tastes life for the first time and prays that it will last. If the rain carries multiple worlds that can't thrive, what happens when they collide with ours? They divide. Millions upon millions of orbs that have no choice but to fall and are absorbed into the soil to live once more. It can be argued that for our world to thrive, those millions of worlds needed a place to survive. So, as they make impact with Earth, they make a pact with each other and say, Together, let's make this work. As seeds shoot and trees take root, the rain thunders like a train as it belts the earth in a torrential cascade. As the clouds run away, the drops now have to exist in this new place with a new world to create. For they provide the grains that help transform the arid plains into thriving habitats once again. Take comfort in the fact that you can see rain and when you hear the weather report, just for a moment, don't think of it as a sad moment, nor as its last resort. This small act has a large impact made up of all the little ones that have a one-way trip with no going back. The sound that you hear isn't rain pelting on the roof, it's actually the world applauding, and the world is applauding the rain and saying thank you.